so anyways let's start recording from here so hopefully you guys are on the youtube video as well so if you miss any of this chat i'll bring you guys up on the screen and if you've got any questions i can try and answer this stuff live but i'm going to try and just show you guys what i'm doing this is going to be for the puzzle in ark harbor this is arguably the harder of the puzzles okay arguably the harder of the one mostly because there's eight things rather than three and you also need to go and do a pre resquit beforehand okay sure i could do that chaos no worries dudes um i don't really want to fight enemies here i kind of just want to go and show so i'm going to try and skip enemy combat so the arc harbor does not always appear in every single mood okay but if it does appear you guys can go ahead and do this. This is a really good way to go ahead and get yourself the bow, okay? Because you'll get yourself a lot of uh, Jaya Enigma, I believe they're called. Uh, you can get five from doing this. Normally, you only get one. So to start off with, I am currently on this side here of Ark Harbor. I'm on the left-hand side. Let's begin. First thing that I want to go and do is disable the security, okay? So we're going to go over here. And we're going to go and disable the security. It looks like this. You will see three of them in all three locations. Go ahead and disable the security, all right? So disable it. You're going to go ahead and hold on these ones. These ones you just click. You see the line behind that one? See, it's got like a line. Hold the button down, then release. And that's how you hack it. Hold, release. Okay, otherwise click, 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 hold, release. That's now going to open up this, which gives you kind of like an, uh, I say like an undercroft, but it's not really an undercroft. I'm going to show you what it looks like down here. I actually do not need to be down here right now, but this is where you're going to end up, okay? Ideally, we want to get some void pulsing on this right here, okay? This is going to end up opening this area up over here, which currently has a door on it. I don't know if you can see those gates right there, but when you fly underneath... Oh, it actually gives you 10. Oh, awesome. Good to know. When you actually fly underneath... Um, it's blocked off right now. So we're going to open that up by disabling all of the security and by also rotating the statues. So, hopefully these enemies leave me alone. Oh, no, it's right there. They're not going to leave me alone, are they? I'm going to try... Wait, what kind of decrees do I have? Can I just fight these guys and get rid of them? Not really. If I had more decrees, I would just absolutely slaughter these guys. Um, I'm just... So the idea is I'm going to make the statue face this, Okay. So the statue's got a handle. I'm just going to show it from here. The statue's got a handle, which is this one right here. You want to walk up to whichever the side the statue's facing. So I stand here and I'm basically going to ch keep changing the statue until it faces this. Okay. So hack this, change this. Because these guys are going to interrupt me really quick. Oh, okay. I got lucky. You see, I walked up, I pressed it and now it's there. If I walked up and pressed it again, it would face that direction. No, we want it facing there. Okay. That's one. Now, you can get on your horse if you want to, or you can just follow this road over here. You're going to go over to this hand side. I'll show you where I am on the map if you need me to. Open up the map. Now, I'm on the top area over here. So, this is like the middle area. It's kind of like a spiral going up, all right? So, let's go ahead and disable this. You're going to do a bit of a hack. So, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. You can speed it up as well if you hold that down. So if you play like Osu and you're very quick with this, you can go and speed them up. Um, underneath this one, there isn't really anything. I'll show you it anyways. It literally just looks like this. Uh, oh, there might be a fragment down here. I'm not too sure. Can you guys remember if there's a fragment? There might be a fragment. Have a little look anyways. I can't remember if there is. I think one of them has a fragment. It might be this one. Oh, actually, I think it is this one that has a fragment. Uh, anyways, now that I've done that, I'm looking for the statue. There's the statue. Unless this is different on steel path, forgive me, but... So that's rotating the statue that way. That's not correct. Rotate the statue this way. Rotate the statue that way. It's facing that direction. This is correct. I'm going to get on my horse. And I'm going to go over here. And I'll show you guys where I am on the minimap in a second. So I'm going to open up the map. I'm now on the right-hand side. So left-hand side disabled and changed the statue. Top side, disabled, change the statue. Right side, disabled, change the statue. Okay, you guys good? Have you guys keeping up so far? If you've got any questions, feel free to go and ask. Right, so you could go and speed it up and it looks something like this. Woo! First time and on video. I get that. I never fail that, ever. Jeez, he's insane. 
All right, so underneath here, it's just like this. I don't actually believe there's anything underneath here, so you don't have to go underneath here, all right? You're basically just disabling it. I don't quite understand why there's nothing underneath there. What? Right, this one, what we need to go and it? turn it. Now, pay attention to the statue. You will know if you've done this correct because you get that. See that void imbued energy? Yeah, that means you have done this correctly. That means all three statues are currently in the right position. If you do this and you don't see this, you're like, hmm, one of the statues is not in the right position, okay? Now, now that we got all three statues lined up, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go right back to the beginning. And remember this, we're gonna go straight back down here. Now that we go down here, we're going to summon a statue underneath. Okay. So now look, it's glowing. All we got to go and do, simply hit this. This pulls the statue here. And that gate. Will open up. Can you see that slowly opening up in the distance? Might have to squint. There you go. That's now opened up, right? The statue is now facing this. We have now solved the first part. The first part. Okay. Give me a second. A bit slow. <laughs> I need more decrees. Now what I want you guys to go and do. So I'm going to show you where I am on the map again in case you guys get lost. Okay, it doesn't let me. Oh, it's because I'm on the horse. So I'm now going to go underneath the map. Okay. So. Whenever you're ready. Right underneath. And can you see down here? We're going to go right underneath it. Okay. And right here is an owl now this one is harder than the others mostly because there's now eight if you've ever done an owl puzzle before you might already be introduced to this mechanic so you'll understand how to do it if you i'm gonna take this as if you don't know how to do it so i'm gonna show you just purely what everything means now first thing i will go and say is whenever you walk up to these panels omni uh, omnipotent um things like uh, gy uh gyrotic this is just flavor text from what I'm aware of, I, I'm not smart enough to go and realize this anyways, but from what I'm aware of, there's actually no correspondence to the symbol or to what you're reading on there. So please do not panic. From what I'm aware of, it's just flavored text. So as soon as we enter this area, our goal is to go ahead and see these symbols right here. We got one there. We got one there. We got one there. We got one there. Now we've actually got another four, but they're currently hidden, but you can just ever so slightly see what they could be. See what I mean? Just ever so slightly get an idea what the symbol could be. There is eight of these. There is one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. There's eight of those. Now what we want to go and do is kind of open all of these up and set them out. There is also one, two, three, four kind of different types of drums and things. You will find these out in the open world as well. So what you want to go and do for the brush you shoot it and a core will come out. For this one, watch it glow. You shoot this and a core will come out. For this one, when it dangles like that, you shoot this, it will it will smash. Don't you dare fall off. If it falls, actually, I'll just let it fall off so I can go and show you guys what actually happens if it does. Don't panic. It basically resets, okay? Gives you an idea. Let's roll into the center, awesome. And then on the last one, I believe this is push. Yeah, and then the last one, this is push. These are all four of the different mechanics that you can do in the real world as well, okay? So when you're not here, you can still do this elsewhere. We have now got four of these cores. It doesn't matter which one which one of these four cores I put into which one of these four over here that I need to put them into. Let's explain it in a second, right? So uh, let's introduce ourselves to the first one. We're going to work our way from left over towards right, okay? So left, shoot it open, and now we can go and see it in here right this one we want to go and get this open if we shoot that it spins and it opens this now as you can see this is actually currently empty you'll you'll see it in a minute well this one is also just naturally empty okay this one is filled in as you can see it's got like a frost kind of snowflake right there you get the idea so it, it means it's good to go this is like base okay so it's good this one you'll see it has like a frost snowflake but you see it's changing color now i'm color deficient but you guys should still be able to go and see this this basically means when i do shoot this one it will actually try to shoot me back just keep that in mind all right on this one 
This one's actually more important to pay attention to. I'm going to get really close right now. Can you see that, like, chat color? S someone said cyan earlier. Blue? S blue cyan. This is important. Remember this. This actually copies what you put in it. Okay? The reason why that's important is because some puzzles you only have three you'll have like one here one here one here not not here in this one but out in the worlds let's just say let's say somewhere here yeah let's say you go and do some owls over here yeah you find a puzzle and it might have three of these the idea is that it copies what you put in there it's kind of like a mimic you'll see what i mean bear with me but do remember that okay that's the mechanic of that one this one requires a pad to stand on and it opens up and this one is just hidden And now that's opened up. Right, so let's go ahead and... Chat, don't, don't, forget it. So I want to grab the sausage. Sausage. I can't sausage. cut this out the YouTube sausage. video. Sausage, 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 sausage. sausage. <laughs> Should have disabled alerts. Thank you, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, YouTube, I apologize. <laughs> Dude, that's so embarrassing. Chat, don't show me up like that. Right, so what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to work in order. This one has one, we're fine. This one does not have one. Shoot, look up, middle click for me on PC, throw it in, it's fine, leave it now, okay? Grab another one, mm, nope, grab another one. Come over here, see this one here, throw it in. Sheesh. You're the wizard, Clark. Don't chat, you're fine, all right? So all of these are now filled in. Let's grab the other two, over here. Okay, this one we can simply just throw in it's fine it will just take it i'm going to show you kind of like another mechanic in a second Ooh. thank you for the sub i do appreciate it right and then this one over here i'm going to stand on the pads and i'm going to go and throw this in here as well okay now i have all four of those symbols as you can see they were all on here and they're all entered in now all i have to go and do chat is is figure out what symbols are here and I've got to correlate it over here, okay? Best way to start this, in my opinion, is what do we currently have? Now, do this however you want to do this, all right? Just do it however you want to do it. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Just call this E, okay, call this O, and call this U. And then down here, I call this backwards C. It's up to you, whatever you want to go ahead and call it, all right? Then these ones are hidden, but you'll figure these ones out in a minute, okay? So what we're going to go and do is look for these ones. Let's go and look for E, O, but keep in mind, there's multiple O's. There's multiple U's for what it's worth, and there are other C's. So let's look for those. We're going to start off with this one. So shoot to open it. Shoot. It's going to try and shoot me back. Just move. There's a U there. I'm not too sure. I don't see that there. So let's cycle it. Move. There's a, uh, a, I call that a backwards S or a Z if you want to. Shoot it. There's an O. So it's got an O with a dash here and a dash there. Do I have an O? Oh, 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 get the idea. You might go ahead and start piece, piecing this together now. From here onwards, you probably don't even need me. And before you do, go ahead and run off and whatnot. Like the video, okay? Like the video. Right, let's go ahead and do this one. Shoot. What do we have to work with? We got a U. We got a backwards uh, or a Z if you want to. We got a X if you want to. I'll oh, don't do the swear word once. <laughs> and we've got the uh, the backward C. That's gonna get me demonetized. God damn it. Um, right. Something that you can go do here, and there's a mechanic that I haven't actually shown you guys. Um, so please go and pay attention to this. Is let's say that you have something in there for whatever reason you want to return it. You see how this one opens it up. Sometimes you might need to take it out. See that? You can take it out. Some puzzles, some puzzles in the open world may ask you to kind of do it because you don't have like all cores available. Shoot this, throw it back in. We know that we had the backward. Oh, okay. We know that we have the backward C. Now this one is gonna shoot back at me. Now keep in mind, the, there's always four symbols in each one. So I shoot, I move. Or I get hit. <laughs> uh, shoot, move. X. 
Looking for either E or what was the other one? For o. Uh, U. Okay, so I've got M in here. I've got X in here. I've got, I don't know what I call this. I also call this kind of M as well, but it's a bit weird. And I've got Z in there. So this one, I actually don't know right now. I can have a little look here, but there's not much to go off there. So I'm going to ignore this one just for now. Process of elimination. Move on. Don't spend your time kind of guessing. So this one, no, not that I see it. No. Mm, that could be that one. No. And no. So we're just we're gonna ignore this one just for now, okay? We're gonna go into this one. X N Now I did like the look of this one because that one almost looked like it, but I'm gonna say no for now. And another X, no, I don't think so. Right, so we ignore those ones. Uh, this one, now this is the hologram one. Pay attention to this. This is what I was talking about. Watch, if I shoot it, look, if I now stand to the side, look at that. Do you see that? See how there's double? Now on any other ones, there are not doubles. So what's interesting about this, if I insert it and I shoot, if I now pop it out, it still keeps it. Okay, some puzzles out there are going to ask you to basically use only one core, one of these. I don't know if they're called cores, by the way. It's going to ask you to use one of these cores. And then it's going to basically go ahead and ask you to shoot it out and use one core to go and fill in all three. Okay, so let's go and throw it back in. It should probably reset it. Thank you. I'm going to go and reload my gun. I'm going to shoot. What are we looking for right now? I think we were looking for maybe E and was it U or something? No, right. This one. Ah! Could be that top one. We'll see. This one you can kind of just get off and it shouldn't hit you. You as well. Okay, so it's going to be this one. Still looking for that remaining E if I can get it. There's the E. Right. So this one is officially done. This one's officially done. Uh, this one's officially done. So in the remaining ones, what is it? So I, I had... That was backwards. Oh, that's O. That's backwards C. Backwards C. Sorry, forgive me. I've kind of like multitasking right now. So I need the U. I think I saw... It's not that U. Was it... Did I have another U in here? No. Try and shoot the ones that don't shoot back because then it's normally a bit easier. Did I have a U in here? I did not. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to try and pay attention to symbols as well. That's got like a bit of a, like a double line in it. That one definitely looks rather... I can't think of what that one is right there. That one could easily be an O of some sort. I like to call this one Y. And I think I saw... Yeah, there's like T T U there. That, I mean, that could easily be that by all means. Stop hitting me. I don't think there's an M there. I don't think there's an X there. No, it's not. It's not that N. Definitely don't see an S there either. Well, it's got to be one of those for that one. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like I got a bit of a toughy one here. I'm going to go with the N and just assume that that is correct. I've got two N's here, actually. So that's... Oh. Oh, no, no, wait. Yeah, so stop. That is guaranteed. So you see the edges of that? Look, I'm going to pair that with the edges here. I think so. Yeah. You see how it's like a bit wobbly in and out? See, it's got like a bit of an in there and a bit of an in there. And that's got a bit of an in there and a bit of an in there. So we're going with that. That's locked in. That's done. So it's this one these ones what was on this again there's a oh wait that's a u whoops sorry that's actually done Ooh. all right so that's done this is done that's done that's done that's done this is done so is it it's just these three now right all right so i want to try and look for the one that's got like a free spike in it so it could be that to be honest no because 
bit hard to go and see your camera angle. Can I get... Oh, no. There's no point me getting on the horse. Uh, oh, I... Oh, that's the TU. That's that. Look. See how this, these lines don't go higher here, but that middle one does. Look. It doesn't go higher. It doesn't go up, but the middle one does. So that's how I got that one. And then it's between... What is it? This one and this one, I think. So it's got this small one here. I mean, honestly, that could actually be that because all I can see is the bottom line here and it's quite high up and I can't see if there's like a dash line there. That could easily be covered. I'm going to I'm gonna assume it's this one. So maybe it's just this one then. It's next one. Got it. Done. Now, that is how you do the puzzle. Sorry it took me a little bit longer there. Um... The puzzle is now done. If I go ahead and press P on here, I get... Oh, look. I got the Sinter Sting blueprint. So this is the part towards the bow, which is awesome. And I got five of the Enigma Gyrons over here as well. Um, got myself a couple of intrinsics and stuff, but every, all of the loot that you would have saw is at the bottom. So feel free to like pause the video and go back and rewatch it. Um, anyways, hopefully this gives you guys an idea how to go and do the puzzle. Again, I'll upload this to YouTube nice and raw. So feel free to go ahead and you know go back to it whenever you guys want to if you do like the video please go give it a like or share it with a friend if anyone else is stuck on it um but yeah the puzzles are fun keep in mind there are loads of puzzles in loads of different areas and also keep in mind some of the puzzles i believe are also tied to some of the moods all over the place so you're like there's normally a puzzle there's normally a puzzle right here but it's in this mood it might be there in other moods it might not be there you get the idea anyways Thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. If you're new to the YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys again later, all right?